Hello and welcome back to Microbial Concepts. So in this video, we are going to discuss some microbiology related interview questions for cosmetic industry. Okay, so if you are struggling with any other topic like this one, because there are very few videos on YouTube for cosmetic industry job interview for microbiology, right? So you can uh, reach out to me through my Gmail or you can write that particular topic, what your query is in the comment box i will try to help you out okay so let's start so first question is what role does microbiology play in the cosmetic industry so microbiology plays a very important role mainly in ensuring the safety and then the quality of the cosmetic product so it involves testing of microbial contamination assessing preservative efficacy because cosmetics they uh, have a comparatively good shelf life right why because there are preservatives lot of preservatives which are added so there is also testing required for assessing the preservative efficacy that means how effective the preservative is then complying with the regulatory standards because again this is a very good big industry where lot of products are used daily by human beings right so there are strict regulatory standards which cosmetic industry has to follow so again a microbiologist have to uh, test the product for complying the regulatory standards to prevent potential risk to consumers skin health okay then second is how do microorganisms impact the quality and safety of cosmetic products so how do microorganisms impact the quality so Microorganisms can comprise, uh, sorry, compromise uh, the quality and safety of cosmetic products by causing spoilage, degradation of particular ingredient in the cosmetic, then just by growing means contamination. Okay, so pathogenic microbes can lead to skin infection or adverse reactions when applied, and underscoring the need for effective preservation and quality control measures. Okay, so that's the very uh, what we can say critical issue because yes microorganisms they impact the quality and safety of the cosmetic products then third is what are some common microorganisms that are found in cosmetic products so common microorganisms which are found in cosmetic products include staphylococcus pseudomonas yeast species like candida which can proliferate in water-based formulations and impact product stability and safety okay so these are common uh, tested pathogens that is Staphylococcus, Pseudomonas, Candida, Bacillus, etc. Then next is can you explain the concept of preservatives in cosmetics and their role in preventing microbial contamination? As I told you uh, each and every cosmetic product has a very good like at least two to three years of shelf life okay it has to be uh, good enough to be used for a continued long period of time so lot of preservatives are added so what is the concept of preservatives that's the main question when it comes to the cosmetic industry preservatives are present and you need to know the concept of preservatives in cosmetics so preservatives in cosmetics are actually antimicrobial agents added to the formulation to inhibit the growth of microorganisms this ensures the safety and shelf life they prevent bacterial fungal yeast contamination preserving both the product quality and the consumer's health then fifth is how do you test cosmetic products for microbial contamination so cosmetic products are tested for microbial contamination by using methods like culturing microbial culturing then enumeration uh, where samples are placed in growth media to encourage the microorganisms growth followed by identification okay if any pathogen is present or not even that is checked additional nowadays some molecular techniques are used like pcr for identifying the specific pathogens then next is what are some specific microbiological testing methods used in cosmetic industry so specific methods you just need to list here some methods so these include microbial culturing for total viable count for yeast mold count 
everything then presence and absence of pathogen is checked then preservative efficacy and stability like in pharmaceutical industries uh, we check disinfectant efficacy likewise in cosmetics there is preservative efficacy and stability then next question is what are regulatory requirements for microbiological testing of cosmetic products okay so this is regarding the regulations that a cosmetic industry has to follow so regulatory requirements for microbiological testing for cosmetic products it varies by region to region but on a general basis commonly what is done so it includes testing for microbial contamination this is basic this is followed everywhere then uh, testing for any specific pathogens presence or absence then preservative efficacy to ensure the product safety and compliance with the permissible microbial limits can you discuss the significance of stability testing in the relation of microbiology this is another question significance that is importance of stability testing why it is important so stability testing in microbiology it assesses the products resistance to microbial growth that means how good your product can be it should not have any kind of contamination it should resist the microbial growth and changes over time under various condition okay it should be resistant to microbial growth and changes like you must have seen uh, when a product expires the texture also changes you find some liquid is getting uh, collected accumulated over the uh, some kind of cream or ointment okay so that is what the change over the time under various condition it should also resist that then ensuring the product safety efficacy quality throughout the shelf life then next question is how do you handle and address microbial contamination issues in cosmetic production so handling microbial contamination issue it actually involves the identification of contamination source if you can identify the contamination source you can easily overcome it right so then uh, identifying the contamination source this is first then second is isolating Uh, the affected batches you need to separate out that because you cannot sell it as it is directly uh, going to affect the consumer's skin health right so you need to isolate those affected batches then implementing corrective actions such as adjusting the manufacturing process and enhancing preservation methods then validating also is very important so validating effectiveness of the solutions to prevent the reoccurrence of such kind of microbial contaminations so i know you have you think that i am discussing too much here but these questions are like very important and you can't just answer in one line okay like the way you used to answer when you studied first year second year microbiology right that what is the temperature of autoclave so we answer uh, 121 degree celsius right so these are not that kind of questions so you have to elaborate at least you have to answer two three lines okay so now next question is can you provide any example of microbial related issues or outbreaks in cosmetic industry so actually there are many and uh, recently uh, i have heard about johnson and johnson but i guess that is not microbial related so you need to understand the question properly so the question here is microbial related issue or any outbreak in the cosmetic industry so uh, there was a incident in uh, i guess usa or uk where burkholderia capacis outbreak was seen in 2016 due to contaminated liquid cosmetic products okay so you can list you can google out something and uh, at least try to remember one or two examples so i found that one from the 2016 and easy to remember because burkholderia capacis was the one which was contaminating liquid cosmetic products then the next is what are some emerging trends or advancements in microbiology that have an impact on cosmetic industry so the emerging trends are emerging trends include probiotic and prebiotics in the formulation okay so this is new to you but uh, i know uh, you can read out this on google that the emerging trends include 
probiotics and prebiotics in the formulations to promote the skin microbiome health that means already the skin flora which is present uh, that can be used to increase the uh, or improve the skin health and the use of advanced genetic genetic sequencing techniques to assess the microbial composition of the product ensuring safety and efficacy but yes again using um, probiotic and prebiotics in the formulation this is tricky controversial but yes these are these are the some emerging trends or advancements in the cosmetic industry okay so how do you ensure that cosmetic products remain free from microbial contamination during their shelf life so we can ensure this by rigorous testing and monitoring of the raw materials then manufacturing processes uh, packaging or conducted then uh, so you ensure by rigorous testing and monitoring of raw material uh, manufacturing processes and packaging okay then alongside effective preservation methods and stability testing to guarantee the product safety and quality throughout the shelf life this is how you can ensure that the cosmetic products remain free of microbial contamination during their shelf life then next is can you explain the concept of challenge testing in the context of cosmetics so challenge testing uh, sorry testing in the cosmetics it actually involves intentional contaminating a product with specific microorganisms to assess its ability to resist microbial growth okay so you intentionally contaminate a product with specific microorganisms and you uh, test its ability to resist the microbial growth under realistic conditions okay so that is challenge testing and you ensure that the product's efficacy and safety against the potential contaminants right because you have added the preservatives and you had again inoculated a particular specific microorganisms and now uh, you are testing the ability of those microorganisms to grow okay so now your product should resist that particular microbial growth because there are preservatives present so this is challenge testing then next is how does the presence of certain microorganisms in cosmetics affect consumer health and safety so suppose there are some harmful microorganisms present in the cosmetics then they can lead to skin irritation allergies infections or say any other adverse reactions posing risks to consumers health safety then when they are applied on skin or any mucous membranes okay so that's the reason why we strictly have to or rigorously we have to test for no microbial growth okay then 15th one that is next question is what are the potential risk associated with using natural or organic ingredients in the cosmetics for microbiological standpoint so many a times you must have seen that it is written that natural or organic ind- ingredients are present so are there any potential risk so yes there are because natural or organic ingredients in the cosmetics they can carry a higher risk of microbial contamination due to reduced or you can say no synthetic preservatives have been used because we are saying that it is natural and it is in uh, organic right so potentially it leads to decreased product shelf life and increased susceptibility to microbial growth which can compromise the product safety and even the consumer's skin health then next is can you discuss the role of good manufacturing practices this is gmp in ensuring microbiological safety in cosmetic industry so gmp in cosmetics it enforces stringent hygiene okay then sanitation quality control standards in the production storage distribution then um, preservatives how much to add which preservative to add and then ensuring the product safety by minimizing the risk of pathogens or spoilage organisms so what gmp enforces very strict hygiene sanitation uh, qc standards everything comes under gmp okay so it enforces all this and then also uh, it checks the 
preservatives which are getting added how much they are getting added which one is getting added and whether it is good or not its efficacy and thus ensuring the product safety by minimizing the risk of pathogens or spoilage organisms right then can you provide some examples of innovative preservation techniques or technologies used in the cosmetic industry so some innovative uh, preservative techniques or technologies uh, are like um, use of natural antimicrobial agents such as some essential oils some peptides or plant extracts which naturally have uh, preservative properties they can be used as well as advanced delivery systems like encapsulation to enhance preservative efficacy and uh, minimize the microbial contamination risk in the cosmetics okay so moving towards our last two questions so next is what steps can be taken to prevent microbial contamination during manufacturing and packaging processes of cosmetics so preventive steps can be uh, taken like following strict hygiene practices by all the employees which are working in cosmetic industries uh, then implementing some controlled environments for qc testing for production or manufacturing units then uh, testing of raw materials before using them for manufacturing then uh, employing efficient sterilization and aseptic techniques during manufacturing as well as during packaging of the cosmetics to minimize the microbial contamination risk okay then last is how do you educate consumers about the importance of microbiological safety in the cosmetic products because many a times it's it happens that uh the product is expired and they can observe that there are some changes in the texture and the smell but still they keep on using it so that is actually wrong so it is very important to educate the consumers regarding the microbiological safety of cosmetic products because it is directly going to affect their skin health so educating uh, consumers can involve clear labeling on the cosmetic product then providing proper product information about the preservation method and the testing then um, uh, highlighting the role of microbiological safety in the in, uh, in ensuring the product quality and skin health and fostering the informed choices because it is very important because um, if they keep on using when it is contaminated or uh, it is expired then it might have a risk it might pose risk to the skin health of that particular consumer so we can add a pamphlet or through tv advertisements some information can be given to the uh, consumers that when to use and when to not and what kind of changes if you are observing stop using the product okay like those uh um, points can be added okay simple points which the consumer can remember and start implementing so this was about cosmetic industry so i hope now you can prepare for your job interview and all the best so if you like my video do give a thumbs up do share this video with your friends and do subscribe to my channel thank you